Indiana's Lew Wallace was the youngest major general in the Union Army when he entered the battle at Shiloh, but his rapid rise through the ranks was about to come to an end. What did he do wrong? Did he really get lost? Why do some still today blame him for the large number of casualties? This is where the controversy begins and continues to this very day. The feeling began to spread that somebody had to be held accountable. Shiloh was a sore point for him, really for most of the rest of his life, because he felt he'd performed well. Years after the war had ended, a train ride sent him down a new path and changed his life forever. He had a conversation with a fellow soldier from Shiloh, who was now the nation's most controversial agnostic. What did he say to Wallace? How could he have such an impact on the general's life? What was the result? In 1880, Wallace finished the book, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, which went on to become the best-selling novel of the century. The novel came to function in American society, particularly in the 19th century, uh, as a fifth gospel. Lew Wallace had finally found success, but what would the next 25 years hold for this Indiana native? Lew Wallace, Shiloh Soldier, Ben-Hur Bard, premieres November 30th on WTIU.